Hey everybody, this is Jody, and I'm here with a, with a new series. I'm going to do some free teaching videos that will be on my YouTube channel as well as on the MSA website. And I thought we'd kick it off with a, with a, a concept video uh, with some licks there. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, you get so tired of hearing yourself play the same little thing. I know I do. Uh, so this, this is a concept that may help break you out of some of your uh, thinking of linear scales and things like that and take it to a little more to the outside. So this is the first in a series of, of videos I'm going to do and I hope you can enjoy it and get something out of it. Okay, so, so we'll be in the key of D. Uh, so, you know, one thing you can do is you can use the five augmented chord notes to help you out. You can also use the seven flat chord notes right there. You can use the minor third of the major scale. There's your major third. So you can use the minor of the D major scale. And you can, uh, your augmented notes, they kind of, it's kind of like the whole tone scale. It um, kind of repeats itself every two frets and every four frets. Those kind of concepts. So I'm going to show you some licks you can do. Here's one. Slow it is. Okay, so I'm using the, the seventh tone and the raised five tone of the five chord. And then back. And then the augmented chord. And then the sharp five, that's part of the augmented. Okay, so we're in D. So that's one thing you can do, and I'm done. Fifth fret, fifth string, pedals in. Uh, take the A pedal off. At the, at, I'm sorry, not fifth, sixth fret. Back to the fifth fret, then B pedal, sixth string. And then back to the fourth fret, no pedal on the fifth string. B pedal come off of that, with the sixth string, and seventh. And then resolve back to the third fret. Here's another way you can variation. So there, I'm just following in the on down part. And I'm going from a four to a major third and a root on top. Okay, so following that logic, here's another one. Okay, so that's uh, using part of the seventh flat. So we're at the eighth fret, B pedal. We go four, five, six, back up a fret, and we're gonna hit seventh string here at the seventh fret. Move it down to the sixth fret. Eighth string, sixth fret. Move it down to fifth fret, then the ninth string, and then the tenth string with the pedal in. Or you could go. You could. If you want, but that's a far jump if you're playing. So I'm just showing you here, you can get the same notes closer in here. So it's kind of the same thing, but you're just in two different positions there. Um, it's the same concept, same scale notes. Here's another one. So I'm doing what I'm doing here is. The last part of the lick is exactly the same that I already showed you. And this is. Then you start into the lick. Okay, so it's just B pedal in. You're at the eighth fret, ninth fret, then tenth fret, 
back to the same two notes, four, then five, six. Okay, so there's some some good ideas in there, I think, for some to make your playing a little more on the outside.